Hey guys, it is Tuesday and it's already been an exhausting morning. <laughs> it's already lunchtime. Um, I got up at 6 a.m., fed the dogs, let them out, got the orders out for the day. I was like, I just want to lay back down for a while. I'm so tired. So that, yeah, the dogs were crying. Um, the phones kept going off, both the landline and the cell phone. So, uh, Anyway, um, Papa had another spell last night where he was trying to get out of bed. Thought someone rang the doorbell or someone rang the doorbell because he was confused as where he is. So I have a care meeting this afternoon. I just got back from taking Lucy to the doctor. So going to do some orders, get a little lunch and then go out there. So overnight on eBay, here's what sold this Ginny doll, 20 bucks little lot of um, Six Flags Over Texas, a little Stein and two glasses, $20. This Hummel for $48. And then this Lenox Village for $32. All of these are shipping for free. I had a bunch of items and yesterday because a month ago I started, I, I've been listing Good Till Cancel because I wanted to try List It and Forget It. List It and Forget It has not worked for me. So a month ago, as things were coming to an end, I manually ended them and then did sell similar on them for 30 days. Well, now they're all ending. So as I um, was getting things relisted, and again, I do sell similar, so it starts as a new item ver versus a relist. Unless there's a ton of watchers on it, I might do a relist, but I pretty much was just bulk doing them sell similar. So that, of course, ended the sales that were on those as well as the promoted listings. So then I restarted promoted listings to go through Friday night and then I restarted sales and I'd been doing 30 to 40%. So I backed off now that we're kind of close to Christmas. So I did 20% on, I think I did 20% across the board except for small, medium, large clothing, I did 50. So I think that's where I am right now. Um, most everything free shipping, no best offer. So um, and then, like I said, I started promoted listings again. I've been choosing to do a lower rate. So like I did, I just kind of move the cursor. And if it wherever it ends up under between three and four is where I put it. So it was like 3.7 or something. And that's what I did. And again, those will go through Friday night. So then on Saturday, which is always my slowest sales day, on Saturday then, when I get up, um, I will restart promoted listings and I'll restart sales. So that's just been working for me um, to just do those on Saturday. I don't feel rushed. I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm missing out on everything because I don't have anything going because nothing really goes anyway on Saturday. So might as well just do it that way. So I'm gonna probably get, see if I can get the labels done here. And I don't know if I can, I gotta hurry here and get off uh, to the care meeting for Papa. Well, I'm in Walmart, Papa needs pants and they have to be baggy to go over his leg brace so I'll probably have to buy him like a size bigger oh boy put a camera down and see what I can find and get out of here as fast as possible because I don't want to be in here maybe something like that mm. I don't know, why does it have to be so hot? If it was warm, he could wear shorts, but needless to say, he's cold. Hmm. <laughs> no, can't be anything that's gonna stick to his leg. Almost like pajama pants would be better. Hmm. Why there have to be so many choices? Oh my God, there's even more over here. Ah. Okay, it is after dinner. Um, had a good visit with Papa, um, my niece and one of my nephews came, so he had some more company, so that was good. Had the care meeting, they're going to monitor him every 15 minutes, just kind of check in on him, make sure he's okay. They're going to get him a different call button, they put some signs up in the room to remind him to not get up and to call for help. And if everything goes well... He might be home by the end of next week. No guarantees, um, but that's what we're hoping for. That all depends on him being able to walk with a walker independently. Um, and he's, he can't even 
he can't even stand right now without help. So, but we'll see. Um, and then he'll have some home health care when he comes home. And that will be huge. Um, someone to come in and do therapy with him and also to help him bathe, which are obviously things. I, I mean, I guess I could figure out how to do if I had to. But obviously, if there's professionals that could come, that'd be better. Um, and we did have another eBay order come in. This Tahami, Tahimi, Taham, I don't know. So for $14.99 with free shipping. I must have gotten it because it was an XXL. Um, and it is going free shipping, so it'll go via first class. So I just sold this lot of flatware for $159.99. Um, it is free shipping. It'll go in a flat rate box. You can see here that there's a little spot little circle there. A lot of this kind of pattern would have been monogram. This particular one does not have the monogram. So when it doesn't have the monogram, well, you've got two kind of buyers, right? With flatware, you have people who are looking to fill in their own sets and then you have crafters. So for someone looking to fill in their own set, maybe they wouldn't care about the monogram so much. Um, but then again, if you have their monogram, they'll get it. Same with a crafter. Maybe they don't care about the monogram, but the monogram they will maybe get and market it, you know, as an S or an M or whatever. But um, I'm always happier when I find it without the monogram. I feel like it's going to maybe sell better. But, you know, that being said, I've had monogram pieces that sold fast. So who knows? I'm just glad it sold. Got the puppies in here occupied with some chews. Lucy, you ate yours in record time. Charlie's still working on his. Yeah, you're getting like a multitude of chews every day, aren't you, to keep you happy? Because we're not happy, we're not getting all of our attention. It's going to be okay, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, did you, boy? <laughs> so I thought I'd do a little bit of unboxing for you guys. I'm not showing my face because it is a hot mess and no one needs to see it. So we'll just do it this way. Um, just a reminder about my new freebies and deals Facebook group. If you liked the deals I posted when I had my see and save blog, this is the same thing except it is just a Facebook group. So it's super easy for me to just pop in there and post free samples, free magazines, online deals, including magazines like these. All of these I get for free in style, Oprah, Better Homes and Gardens, and Red Books. So if you're interested in getting free stuff, getting Amazon deals, other online deals, um, I will put the link to that group below. Go ahead and join. I have to approve the request, but I try to do that at least a couple times a day. Then we have my sticker subscription. So right now I'm getting Pip Sticks and Mrs. Grossman. So these are monthly sticker subscriptions just because I love stickers. So Pip Sticks, I get the Adult Pro Pack. There are four different versions that you can get of Pip Sticks. I'll link them below. Uh, you can get a children's pack and adult packs, and in each you get two choices. So I get the adult pro pack. Always get a postcard, cardstock. Always get a big puppy sticker. Get a little ticket because they do giveaways, which I've never even done. Then let's see what we got this month. We got a lot of these little hedgehogs, I guess. These kind of kawaii stickers. They come a lot. I feel like I get one of those in every month. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at these appliances. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is adorable. We've got the crock pot, the vacuum. Oh, that is so cool. Even a, like a washing machine. Boom box. Love it, love it. Then we have some words. Tea time, weekend vibes. Then we have a little coffee cup. Some flowers. This is, I feel like I got some of these the last time. Brunch club. We've got some Christmas trees. Pip sticks tend to, tends to be more of just a variety of different stickers, not really themed, which is fine, it's fun socks and yarn although i do feel like i got did i not get these last month did i get two two of these this month what the heck i know i got those well okay then we have notebooks and pencils i did get this already why did i get two 
because I know I got these. Okay then, well, we got two of the same envelope. Maybe I got two mailings and I didn't realize it. Anywho, then we'll move on to Mrs. Grossman's. Um, again, I'll link Mrs. Grossman's below. Get a postcard and letter, and then we have Christmas lights. We have ribbon. Oh, the gold teddy bears, gold foil teddy bears. Cute little penguins. Oh my gosh, look at these polar bears. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Glitter stars, foil hearts. Oh my gosh, look at this sweater weather stuff. So cute. Disco balls, it's kind of a Christmas New Year's Eve theme. Hearts, snowflakes. Oops, oh how cute. Glitter tickets. Kind of that classic Mrs. Grossman's look. Christmas snowmen got woodland animals and the tree letters and then every month you get a vintage sticker one that is actually a vintage sticker and let's see what we have this month if I can get it out come on is it stuck to itself oh come on there Christmas seal and this says this was from 1994. Sweet. Love those. Okay, and then finally, I have um, my Degusta box. This is my second one of these, and I really like the first one. I did a whole dedicated video to it. Um, so if you missed that, I will link it below. But this is a monthly food subscription, and it's like real food that you can actually find at your local grocery store. It's like new releases, and I just really liked it. Um, and here we have Sam. Oh, I love this. They have individuals with intellectual disabilities doing the packaging. How awesome is, okay, now you've really won my heart. Obviously that is near and dear to our family. My brother was um, intellectually disabled, my oldest brother. So love that. We've got a coupon for Balzen. We have some Chef Paul magic seasoning recipes and then what's all in the box. Vegan chocolate, ooh. No refined sugar, no dairy, no cane sugar, no soy, no pump. Well, what's in it then? Is there any kind of sugar? No refined sugar, no cane sugar, what's left? It better not be that fake sugar because that gives me indigestion. Okay, let's see what we got. We've got some bubble thingies. Okay, we got two bags, yes of the mix from GH Creators Popcorn. So caramel and cheese, these are so good and Papa loves those. So that's a good thing. We have marshmallows, a giant thing of mini marshmallows. That's kind of funny. Always use marshmallows. They do have a few recipes with marshmallows in them. Then we have these campfire, um, Oh my gosh, orange, lemon, strawberry, and lime. Flavored marshmallows. Hmm, that's interesting. We have some dark sun drops. Dark chocolate candies, sun stripe. So these are kind of, I guess, like M&Ms, but dark chocolate or candy pieces. Never heard of that brand before. Hmm, try that. Then we have a Garden of Life goal bar, like a health bar, maple sea salt. This is that seasoning, the magic seasoning blend, poultry magic. I'll give that to my brother. He does a lot of cooking. Hell, I got Chimes, ginger chews. Oh, these are good if you get like nauseous or motion sickness. Um, ginger chews, keep those on hand because then they get sick. Then we have some crunchy mint dark chocolate. Oh! Are you guys okay? I dropped you. I'm so sorry. Lucy, we dropped our friends right into the box. Oh, you guys are okay? Okay. Uh, this is a candy bar. Yes, that was that brochure that came. Then some iced cinnamon stars. Cinnamon cookies with ground hazelnuts and white icing. This looks like something they would sell at Aldi's. Am I right? Kind of this like German... Scandinavian type thing. I want to go to Aldi's and see what they have for the holidays, but a little busy right now. Haven't been able to do anything. We have some assorted teas. 
And then finally, it looks like another bottle from, oh, this is Dave's Creamy Ginger Citrus Hot Sauce. Oh, that's another one I'll give to my brother. Maybe I can get away with giving this to him for Christmas. <laughs> Here, Merry Christmas. It's all the stuff from my Degusta box. But he will like that. Cool. So another great Degusta box. Again, those seasoning and hot sauce, definitely to my brother. Ginger chews, chocolate. We've got these cookies. Now, we don't drink tea, but I don't know. I'll see if one of my family members wants that. Whenever we get together, I just bring a box of like everything that I've gotten and stuff that we're not using and they can have a field day. Popcorn, the flavored marshmallows, the regular marshmallows, and then this bar. So that is the Degusta box. Again, I will link it below. So what do you think, Lucy? Say everybody who's watched this far, thank you for watching and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back tomorrow for another weekday vlog. Right, Lucy? Say we're getting the vlogs done, even when Papa is going through this and we're a little crunched for time. But we'll try to find something interesting to film, right? He's such a pretty girl. Say thanks for watching. Bye.